Hi, I'm Mike, and back with the SR20 again, this time with song tracing. Okay, so quite simply, all we've done is we've put a little battery de device, a sond, down a drain, and we're going to trace it. So, turn him on. Straight away into the user screen, we've got a frequency here of 512 hertz, and that's the sond frequency we're tracing today. And it's nice and easy, there's no peaks and nulls, there's no ghost signals with this, it's purely straight to the sonde every time. So we move it around and what we're trying to do is we're just trying to increase signal strength. So we've got a number top left hand corner here and as you can see that number we can make it go up and we can also make it go down. We want to make it go up. So we've maxed that number out now at 2074. Okay, so what we can do now is take the marker chips, which are on the mast, and we can mark that spot. We think that's the peak. We can confirm that by finding the ghosts. And there we go. Bing, 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 bing. There. So that's one of the nulls off one end. And there's the other one and as you can see what we've done now is we're getting a picture of a pipe on the screen and that's actually showing us the position of the drain so we can mark that with a marker chip and if you just look at those three marker chips now the yellow one shows the position of the sond and the two red ones are the ghost so I've mapped that drain out and that's it it's that simple with the SR20 you simply map the sond and show its location so we We've located the sond and now we can find more information about it. Bottom left hand corner we've got its depth. Top right hand corner we've got the inclination of it. So is it sat horizontally in the drain or has it fallen into a shaft? Well here it's at one degree so we know that the thing is horizontal.